Between Two Bushings is back, this time with a beer in hand. Now I know what you're all thinking. We probably spend way too much time talking about hockey, but there's other things we like to talk about, and one of them is beer. By the way, we also like to drink a lot of it, and we drink the best kind of beer, Canadian beer. Up here in the Great White North, we're proud of our breweries. We have a storied history of creating some iconic beers and a few hidden gems. Today, we'll discuss them both. From our first cold sip of beer in the early 17th century, Canada has been obsessed with beer. Our brewing industry thrived until the ultimate buzzkill called Prohibition landed in the 1800s. But since then, we've come back with a fury. So let me give you the five reasons why Canada's beer is some of the best beer on the planet. Number one, it's all about the Johns. Mr. John Molson stepped off the boat in 1782 and started Molson Brewery in 1785. Meanwhile, John Sleeman started his brewery in 1836 and John Labatt started his brewery in 1847. These three breweries became pillars of Canadian culture. With every pint poured, history was written. The legacy that they laid still thrives today. Number two, Moosehead. Canada is all about equal opportunity. Susanna Olin moved from England to Nova Scotia with her husband John. Hey, another John. She became a powerful pioneer of women's entrepreneurship. Today, Moosehead is the largest Canadian-owned brewery with some of the best labels in the game. Number three, Steam Whistle Brewing Company. This deliciously crisp, clean Pilsner was founded in 2000 and has grown exponentially. Steam Whistle got its name because it is brewed at the John Street Roundhouse Building at Roundhouse Park. Built in 1929, it was previously the home of the Canadian Pacific Railway Steam Locomotive Repair Facility and operated as such until May 13, 1988. The John Street Roundhouse is designated a National Historic Site and is literally beside the CN Tower in downtown Toronto. If you are ever visiting, be sure to check it out and quench your thirst. Number four, microbreweries. Canada has been blessed with a plethora. Pul- th- <laughs> Canada is blessed with a plethora. Pul- <laughs> you can do it. Canada is blessed with a plethora. What? You can do it. Canada is blessed with a bunch of these bad boys. <laughs> Cut. You can do it. Canada is blessed with a whole bunch of these little gems to stop by and sample and tour. There is nothing better than sauntering into one of these small, locally owned breweries and enjoying a flight of various beers. Although many are bought up by the mainstream breweries, some manage to stick it out and have become hugely successful at their distinguished craft. Just a few examples are Black Swan Brewery, Clifford Brewery, Sean Ed Brewery, and of course, Flying Monkey Brewery which just happens to produce one of my favorite beers, Juicy Ass IPA. Don't let the name scare you, it's delicious. Number five, Collective Arts Brewery. I must admit, I'm partially fond of this extraordinary brewery. First, it originated in Hamilton, my hometown, and where I still live today. Second, they have the coolest designed beer cans around. Artists from around the world submit their artwork for a chance to be selected as the wrap on Collective Arts' latest delicious brew. And lastly, the beer is good, really good. There's not many reasons to visit Hamilton, but if you're a fan of great beer, you may want to add Collective Arts Brewery to the list. If you don't have a cold beer in your hand by now, I don't know what to do for you. If there's one piece of Canadian culture that we want to see continue to spread, it's our beer. Thanks for watching another episode of Between Two Bushings. I'm Bryce Dugan, and my thirst is quenched. Don't forget to visit our website at www.bearingbronze.com. And please feel free to give this video a like if you think we deserve it. Cheers.